Hello fellow cultivators. This video we are going to go through a quest about a cultivator with new root constitution. That means he cannot practice any cultivation and we will go through his quest and go along his journey. So this quest normally before it starts, when you are walking around in Huafeng region, you might find this dialogue happening. So two female cultivators are gliding through the air. They seem to, seem to be talking about some extraordinary things. And yeah, they are talking about a strange cultivator coming to the tower recently. He looks very unmistakable. Well, that's because this NPC is a very good looking guy. That I can tell you. So, and then when you come to the tower, you will find this NPC on the left. And he's talking to another NPC on the right, who is saying, oh, cultivators are always busy fighting and scheming against each other. I'm tired of all these matters. Now let's look at this NPC. You will find that it, I actually have one hard relation with him. So this is because the game already generated this NPC before you trigger this event. So in my case, he was in my sect. So I was in the sect in Yongling, and he was also there. I recognize his face because I think he always shares his face. So I was wondering if, if this is the NPC that, you know, about this quest. But at that time, he does not have the new root constitution yet. So I just normally interact with him, you know, talk with him, try to give him something. And uh, yeah, so that's why how, how I get one hard relation with him. But now once you trigger this quest, you will see that he has this new root constitution. Thing. And this means that he cannot practice cultivation, absorb qi, so he can never go beyond qi refining. And you can also see that his all martial arts and spiritual rules value are all just one. So that is what's special about this. And if you look at his backstory, apart from the time when he was still a normal MVC, like interaction with me, etc., you will also see him, you know, try to <laughs> do some missions bad, try to get some artifact bad try to get into a sect bad but who knows he was actually in my sect so it's a bit confusing because of how the game treat you know triggered this quest after they generate this npc but you know the, the idea well this cultivator also said that it's good to have a herb garden perhaps you know just live a peaceful life just have a drink in the sun setting or watch the stars. But our guy says, my dream is something else. I want to be a master cultivator and save innocent people from demons and evil, evil doers. I would be the path I was longed for, except his constitution wouldn't allow him to do this partial martial arts. So he is different. He is ambitious, even though he's not good at it. Well, this guy says, oh, you haven't given up yet? And to your surprise, I haven't, and I will not. I'd like to find a way to remit my new root constitution, no matter how difficult it would be. And that would be the main theme of this quest. And yeah, I'm not mocking you. After all, it is your right to choose your own way. And what's more, our world needs ambitious and righteous cultivators like you. And I will be waiting for your good news. Let's drink, and once you cure your constitution. And of course, he here he tells you that he will be living near the main city of the Huafeng from next month. And deal, deal. Fun fact, I do not see this NPC Xue Boi when I, when I visit his little hut <laughs> later. Let's visit his little hut outside the Huafeng main city. So just here, as you can see, there's the icon on the map. So here we'll meet him, we'll say hello, and how is your constitution going? He'll say, well, I remember, you haven't met you before. And I'm not sure if he, this is referring to that he used to be a normal NPC and we met in my sect. And yeah, he explains again that he's born with a special constitution. He cannot practice martial or spiritual arts, but he still wants to amend the situation. Of course, we are going to encourage him. And he's like, yes, you are right. I believe it's still possible to do it. Do you want to talk with me more frequently? And he will be living near this little hut. So if you wait for a month and sometimes this can trigger, you can see his icon on the map. So if you talk with him now, you will see that, okay, he's struggling along a mountain path with a heavy sword dragging behind. So he's practicing doing some gym stuff. If you ask him, he's exercising your strength. And Manuel told him that he can still use this, maybe try to again and again and break through to foundation, maybe one day. Let's try to cheer him up. And he's be happy, you know. And he inhales and cheers up again, leaves another fresh knot on the cliff and continues the thing. Well, if we continue walks around here, and this kind of thing he can trigger again. But for now, let's look at what his hut doing. When you come to his hut, you can find interact with him here. But there are not many things can, can be done. If you talk with him, he will talk about, yes, I want to be a real cultivator. And that's all. You come to small talks. 
The other thing you can do is to debate with him, and this will improve your relation, affinity with him, I mean, as well as his affinity with you, you know, affinity on both sides. But you can't do anything else. If you try to bond with him, you know, be a sworn younger brother or anything, he will say, no, okay, I am not yet, you know. I would love to become your sworn sibling after I succeed in resolving my problems. Similarly, you for mentorship, it will be the same thing, I think. And also, if you try to send a gift to him, for example, you know, everyone loves teleportation charms. This almost always succeed, but even if you send this to him, he will still reject you because he thinks that he haven't done anything helped you, so he's not worthy for the gift. So, hard to improve the affinity, isn't it? Another way, let's say, if we try to spar with him, and, you know, he will also say that, well, you know, I am not really a cultivator, so let's spar later. Three whole days once I become. Well, you are pretty basic after all. Anyways, so the really only way is to debate with him. Don't forget that you can actually mark him so that you can find him on the map later. Let's take a look what is this event about. So we come to this place and we see a female cultivator telling him that I want to settle down in a peaceful place, a bamboo hut, a chicks, and you. Do you know what I mean? Well, our thing, our guy is like, I'm sorry, never thought about it. Maybe you could think about it now? Wow, that's a very, very obvious hint. And he's still like, I'd like to make another try. No, no, no. Well, then, I only see you traveling here and there every day. Don't you feel tired? Sometimes maybe better accept that the fate and, you know, do not try to change it. You're right, but I still hope I could exhaust every possibility to change my fate. Even that means I need to travel every corner to this world. He is really. <laughs> and before that, I've never surrendered to my fate. I'm ready to give up and I follow you. But why are you so obsessed with your lofty dream? Do as you wish. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, woman, have you thought about it? Maybe it's because your charisma is average. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Anyways, when you click again, you see that he is not convinced and the woman left. Well, he's not that happy neither. He seemed very tired. Let's comfort him. Well, thank you. Actually, I'm also uncertain whether my endeavor will bring me anything, but I do not want to give up now. So, yeah. Your affinity, um, his affinity towards you still increase after the show of this thing. And when you walk a bit more, he will say, oh, fine, I find you here. Have a little gift for you. It's like, okay, thank you, but why do you want to give me a gift? Well, you know, nothing special. He's actually quite good. Some skill fruits. Because you encouraged me, you cheered me up, so I... Okay, I'll go. Then you can say, hey, dude, don't give up. Of course. The next step is actually going to the immortal arena of Huafeng City, you know, where you register for the tournament. And here we see the announcer say that, sorry, this is for cultivators only. Please leave here. Well, I just want to have a visit. Should I decline you again? Um, I'm also a cultivator, you know. Well, no, your spirit rules are abnormal and could not practice at once a martial art. You will never be a cultivator. Wow, that's a little bit harsh, woman. And leave here before I drive you off, all right? No, 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 that's not good. Let's comfort him. Well, never mind, it seems that I am special. So special that you see through me at first glance among so many cultivators, right? I live here today and return as a competitor, not a visitor. See you soon. And this is, uh, I don't know if it's actually just a random event or it's actually guaranteed happen after the, you know, the tournament play thing. So you will find him looking at people riding on flying sword and he's like, I really wonder where, where they go. I wish I could also ride on a sword. So you can ask, what are I going to do on that day? So I will bring the people peace with my sword, be a great cultivator, etc. And what's the feeling of riding a sword in the sky? Must be wonderful, right? If I could try that. You know what? Dude, bro, I'm going to gift you a flying sword. How about that? You know, it's a chi refining one, so you can take it. And he rejects it. Very good. <laughs> and another event where we see that he's looking at some other cultivators fighting. And, you know, we can shoot out something. He was also trying to do the same thing, but obviously nothing happens. Alas, here we try to encourage him again. Well, here is something interesting. So first of all, it's, you see the Da Ye. So actually, this quest is supposed to be called Da Ye. 
So Dai should be this person's real name. But I think at some point they have changed the whole thing that so that it will take a random NPC's name. And yeah, and second thing is this is time he sort of actually becomes very depressed. Therefore, the next part of the quest you will see that he's going to get drunk. So we stumbled upon a man on our way and looked like it is him. He's like, ah, good liquor, have a sip. Well, completely drunkard. Let's say, please sober up. Well, sober people always haunt us absurd ideas. Fleeing an idea stops thinking, maybe it's a good thing. Please don't do that. I see, I see, it's not to haunt myself, right? And he seemed to be going toward the tavern. Now let's go to the tavern of the main city. And he can see that he's sitting there and he's still drunk. Hey, you're there, have a drink. Wang up. What are you doing here? What am I doing? I don't even know what am I doing. I want to cure this thing, but how am I succeeded? Then he just goes motionlessly. But the next moment, since we encouraged him, he supporting himself stand up again. Thank you for listening to my complaints. I'll keep going. After this, we see him standing on nearby hill, near the main city. Let's greet him. So, how are you doing? Well, the city has been meeting place for cultivators, and it has wonderful writing artifact. Do you think I could become one of them one day? But to be honest, maybe I should give up. I have tried so many methods. Here, let's try to encourage him. You know, because he also is extraordinary. Well, yes, I'm feeling extraordinarily bad now. And you don't know if it's sadness or desperation. And here we have another female cultivator <laughs> trying to come to him. This guy, good looking guy, actually does have a lot of female cultivators. And this time she is pretty and she is enlightenment. Oh my god. And she's joke cultivator. <laughs> That's a bit weird because she will say that, you know, you should follow me and you should come to our sect if you can take charge of our manuals. But you do not have a sect. <laughs> and, he's like, and you could continue research as well. But our friend is like, I don't want to settle down. I need to be ambitious. Why are you so obsessed with changing your fate? We both know it's, there's no use. I must do it. I will do it. I will find a method after many attempts and I will have a try. He is firm. But how long are you going to practice it? To the end of your life? Yes, I will not stop until my life ends. And let's see him next time when we come to the main city. You'll see him standing near the hill again. And the sadness is gone. His eyes is clear. Greetings. I'm still on my way to find a remedy. To be honest, I feel a little frustrated. Well, you know. By the way, he's already become the true disciple of my sect now. Let's encourage him. And he's like, thank you. But I think the cure is in Yimbo, not in Hua Feng. So I'm going to Yimbo and say it's goodbye. So this is the thing that next part of this quest will not be in Huafeng, but will be in Yimbo city. And now, come to Yimbo main city, we will find our friend again. And we still remember him. Greetings, we meet again. So, still Chi refining. Still new root constitution. Okay, nothing changed. But have you found the cure? Well, no, I found nothing. And perhaps it's a try, I guess. I feel disappointed and frustrated, but I will never give up. But now I will live near the main city of Yimbo, so you will find him there. And some time later, our friend will ask for our help. You know, please come here quickly. So what happened there? He went to look for some purple essence flower with 10 petals. That's a very long name. And he sees some cultivar need help. Of course, himself is too weak to help them. So he's asked us for the help. So let's go to help them. And be careful if you are not going in spirit yet, because you need to have a battle. It can be difficult, even though it's just some small mobs. So let's try to dispel the monster and we managed to save this cultivator again. Another female one. Wow, divine charisma this time. So thank you. And I was too careless. But I noticed that you seem to have very shallow cultivation. Oh, it's because of my new root constitution. I came here for the purple essence flower. But, you know, there are a lot of them a century ago, but now there's only six petal one because of the nether air again. And the 10 petal one has been extincted. But, you know, my friend, cheer up. My friend is like, you, you called me a friend. Well, of course, you are a friend. Yes, I'm not going to give up now. Thank you for your warm words. And also, Sam, they thank us and give us some skill fruits. And if you come back to the tavern, you will see that our friend is asking the tavern owner, have you found anything, you know, I asked you half a year ago? 
Well, he said, I found something. And legends were true. The place exists. And yes, but, you know, it's located deep in the ground that is accessible from secret paths and neither air there. Okay. And our friends like, okay. But here, some cultivator saying, hey, you're good for nothing. Why do you seem so grateful? I made those searches. I found those things because I was moved by you. Well, you know, another enlightenment, beautiful female cultivator. Well, you. <laughs> and another one said, and I even made the expedition myself. You know, I even caught a hint of nether air. I have to rest till now. How dare you repay me with such expression? You know, another enlightenment, beautiful female cultivator. You know, people in Yunmo seem to be much nicer, even though they can be mean in words, but they do help. And our friends seem to be quite moved. Apparently lost in thought, let's comfort him. You know, I'm fine. The guys in the tavern are eager to help me, and I will not give up. The next time we'll see our friend is trying to walk on a cliff, and it's obviously very dangerous. He would fall even with one little misstep. So what are you doing there? Well, I heard some spiritual plant is growing on the mountains, and I want to find it. Okay, spiritual plant, you say? I reach agreement with the manager, and I need to find stuff for him, and he will try to find a cure for me. But stones are broken. It would be hard for me. So we can either lead him the way or send him with a spell. Doesn't matter which one you choose. I will choose to lead him the way because we want him to walk by himself. He needs to cure his problem by himself. So we try to go again with it, with him, and we finally reach the mountain's top, and he finds a tree and then picks out some fruits. Well, he's a bit frustrated. Ah, it's okay. We are getting a lot. We have wonderful scenery and delicious fruits. And by the way, I heard the land in the direction called Chiyou is still inaccessible now, okay? I heard it's very dangerous, and maybe I will go there after I killed him. Then I will wait for you there, of course. And this is the hint about the final ending of this quest. It will be in Shiryu, and you'll get some skill fruits. And now we have to help our friend again. And what are you doing now? I read from ancient books there are some piece of treasure which can change my fate. I even find it, the jade, and but now I am stuck for three days. And but finally we get the remedy for my constitution, right? That's great, right? But then we meet a group of villagers and they notice the jade. Oh, finally, our last hope against disasters. What? What are, what are you talking about, old man? You know, senior cultivator, we are the descendants of water managers who worked under you, the Great you, you know, centuries ago. Today, we are still in the station against the floods. The jade in your hand is named River Ballast, and it's an artifact for calming down the feng shui in mountains and hills. And legends say that an ancient cultivator found it, but refused to hand it over. And because a cultivator hides the jade, and the feng shui is bad, and soon disaster will fall upon us if the situation continues to worsen. We have searched for many years, but didn't expect will be in your hands, Daniel. You know, it is our church artifact. Would you mind handing it over to me? Are you sure about that? So, what will you do? We trust him. He's like, the fate of our entire world is more important than mine. And if so, I wouldn't keep it for my own use. Please, take this thing from me. Thank you, Daniel Cultivator. Sure, I mean. <laughs> Will a second river ballast be waiting for me? I don't know, dude. You sacrifice yourself. The next time we saw him, that he seemed to be preoccupied recently. And he's very serious, planning something. Let's ask him what happened. I'm still trying to cure my new root constitution. A method is there, but it's very risky. The place is called a crucial point of forming the land. I'm still imaginary. I mean, he wants to go there. So after this, if we come to his hut again, we see that no one is in the room. And we find a piece of paper on top of the book. It's called Supreme Forge. So Supreme Forge actually means Da Yi. So here we see a letter here, a map to the Supreme Amru. <laughs> the translation is a bit weird. And let's open this map. So you can see that there's a map on the paper. It's location called Da Yi Town. And this is what this quest is about. And then we can come to that place. So this place is dangerous. It's with all the dangerous fire, wind, fire, water, and thunder. It's scary. So if we enter there, then we have to survive for like 30 seconds. It's difficult, even if you stand there. <laughs> As you can see, I was dead for like two hits. You need somewhat like shield money or something. 
And but even if you die from here, it doesn't matter because you see that I, my eye does not broke, and even though I have zero HP. But if you succeed in surviving 30 seconds, you will manage to continue into the depths. And there's lava, everything. We find a remnant of clothing sway on tip of sharp stone. That is our friend's clothes. He seems that it is gone. He's gone. After that, we get this lively flow, which does nothing. But now, if we have marked him, we can find him where he is. So he is actually on the bottom left corner where you start this game. And I mean, I think that's just where the game put him. He's supposed to be missing. So the next part of the story is supposed to happen in Chiyu, but it can be already triggered while you are in the desert. So someone was saying the horrible Han outside the wall was killed by the mysterious Grandmaster. He's awesome. A mysterious Grandmaster, you say? Well, but he seemed to be clumsy in the past. He could not practice any technique. You know he's our friend. But now he's awesome. By the way, do you know where he is now? They say the person is hard to find, but he will assist, uh, assist the, the cultivators in Shiyu. And maybe let's come here and meet him. Sounds good. Rumors about him is everywhere now. He's so extraordinary. And yeah, so I triggered this while I'm in the desert. But now look at this, our friend Ken now is already in the map, not in the corner anymore. And uh, so let me just walk one step, we will trigger this again. And you see this icon here? So let's go to meet our friend. So as you can see now, he once you trigger this icon, he becomes the heaven chosen and he becomes enlightenment late. And uh, enlightenment late is because myself is enlightenment late. So he will be the same realm as you when you trigger this quest. So let's go to see our friend. You see a cultivator engaging in a fierce battle against monster and manage to win. Guess the cultivating Shiyo will be safer now. Okay, dude, look at you. You have not new root constitution anymore. I mean, it's a different natural destiny. And look at you, come on. Enlightenment late and you are having chosen. And let's look at what Dalman you have. Will, that's a good one. Temper and skill, cooldown reduction, huh? And murder's right. And all the red, orange skills and everything. You are looking very good. And it has been a long time. Would you like to meet me in the tavern? I will wait for you there. And the tavern here, he's talking about tavern in the Cultivator Alliance. You won't see him in the tavern in the Mushian region. I know, I mean, if you trigger this while you are still in this third thing, yeah, you won't see him there until you reach Cultivator's Alliance. But he, as an NPC, he is now in, on a map, so you can just talk with him, interact with him as an NPC. So, and we talk with him, he will say, yeah, it's only a desert land full of dangers in Shiyu, okay. And we can still debate with him, you know, as usual. And he will be very happy about it, of course. And because he has read so many manuals and tomes, we will de debate about anything. And also, we can give him something now. For example, if we give, give him a ring, he will happily take it. So, yeah, so that's good. So we have more ways to improve his affinity. But if we try to bond with him, for example, Swan Brother, he will still reject us because, you know, monster in the Shiyu is actually still worrisome. We must slay it before we discuss anything else. Okay, good. Let's continue the quest then. So finally, let's meet him at the Chiyu Tavern. So I know you will come to Chiyu, and hell, here I am. So what about your spiritual roots? Okay, I cured my new root constitution. Yay! And what about your situation now? So we find the Supreme Forge, and there are flame, ice, and lightning bolts. Yes, who knows it better than us? And finally, it managed to cure him. And even though he left him something that he needed to dispel the pure fire inside his body. But at least he is the cultivator now. Well, that's tough, but it's great. And then he started his cultivation immediately and reached perfection. That was really fast. And here we go. So people say that you should repay a drop of water by a spring. Sure. But before we say anything, someone comes in and tells me, Grandmaster, I have been admiring your deeds for so long. I want to become your disciple. Will you accept me? Are you Huafo number one fifth cultivator? Uh, how do you even come to Shiyu? <laughs> Anyways, so what should I do? So you can decide by yourself. You are a master now. And, you know, I really hope to become your disciple and so on. And after all, he is a grandmaster. Good friend, I'm not available right now. Would you like to meet me outside? I mean, sure. 
Let's go and talk to you outside the Cultivators Alliance. I come to treat you for an important matter. You know, I saw a monster in a dark corner. I need to slay this monster. And I begin my cultivation and reach perfection, but I need to, you know, deal with this monster first. Its ancient beast are sealed by grandmasters. It's confined deeply underground. But it might break out, so we are going to fight this monster. And he feel his strength not enough, so let's lay it together, of course. We are brothers. Let's go fight this monster then. And if you are at, uh, at enlightenment, don't try it. It can be hard. I am doing it at reborn. And here's the thing, because I triggered this, the let's say the quest where he becomes same realm as me when I'm at enlightenment late. So this NPC, even though he's heavenly chosen, he's only enlightenment. So he really helps very little or does not really help that much in this battle. So basically you have to solo this monster, to be honest. And it can be a little difficult, but it's alright. I mean, you know how Tau works. You just need to be careful when it summons its little sword thingy, and you have to deal with that sword immediately, otherwise you immediately die. But if you have, you know, played this game and reached Reborn before, and you know how it works. So, yeah, let's skip the battle now. And after defeating the Tau monster, we actually can get the standard stuff as well, by the way. And we see our friend delivering the last bow. Let's look at him. And you see tears flowing down his face. Let's pat his shoulder gently. Let's go, cultivator. Let's go. I have traveled a long way. I was caught in frustration and wanted to give up many times. And even now I couldn't figure out why could I succeed it. That is true. My friend, that is true. Maybe I'm just too obsessed with it, or maybe your encouragement really cheered me up. You have my deepest gratitude. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. And we will get this Metal Shaper special title, because we played a significant role in this master's journey. And we were given this title as a gratitude. So this title will actually give us quite some HP. So if we remove this and equip it again, you see that it's about 15% of your HP. It's not bad. And now since we finished his final quest, our friend now works almost like a normal NPC now. It's a bit sad, but at least, at least, we can now finally bond with him. We all become real Swarm Brothers. So this is a story about a cultivator who has been born with Neo Root Constitution, which means he cannot cultivate. However, he has been always being ambitious, he has been kind-hearted, he will never give up, he will be hardworking, and even with many opportunities, he managed to give up for those opportunities for help the, for the greater good. And finally, after going through so many things, he managed to cure his problem and he became a grandmaster. And we have been encouraging him and helping him along the way, so we are the Metal Shaper. And that's the end of this story. So as usual, if you like this content, please consider leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.